So, are you ready to review the movie? No. Too bad. We will review it now. This film is directed by Bradley Parker and it stars six people who you don't give a shit about. Alright, so this movie is about the Chernobyl incident and pretty much a group of tourists have come over to Chernobyl and have decided to go and visit the area even though there's a lot of risk involved. Morons. I was a bit on the fence about seeing this movie. It's one of those films where if I saw it, you know, great. If I didn't, probably be a rental. But after seeing it, and you know, I'm not a big horror fan, um, I'm not big on, you know, scares and all that, but I had a fun time with this movie despite being scared shitless. It was, it was nerve-wracking, definitely, but it was so scary, I had to close my eyes, and it was a lot of fun though by the time it was over, I just really liked it. There are a lot of really uh, suspenseful, intense moments in this film, and I was more on edge than I usually am, and I realized that there's actually, there's no... Uh, music playing at all. There's absolutely no music playing during these suspenseful scenes and that really helped to bring the tension to light and in all of, like Hollywood produced films there's that building tension you know where they hold in that one note for so long and then finally it breaks. That didn't happen here and that's and that really helped it. So who's your favorite character? Um I would have to say my favorite character was the uh, the brother that came to visit. And who's your least favorite character? Uh, my least favorite character was probably Jesse McCartney's brother's girlfriend. I don't know, it just didn't seem like a really good character, it didn't really need to be there. I won't spoil anything for this review, but the first person who dies, I was sitting in the theater and I was just like, really? You're killing that person off first, really? Honestly? There's a lot of cliches in this film, and you know, I mean, despite the fact that they are cliches, they work somehow, I thought. I will say that the ending uh, surprised me, and despite not being the most happiest of endings, I actually was satisfied with the ending. It was a good ending, a good way to finish it, and yeah. I wasn't surprised, but yeah, it was good. Like a nice little aftertaste, you know? Yeah. <laughs> despite not liking the genre, if the movie, like today did, you know, if it gets you on edge, gets you really pumped up for what's going to happen, Despite not really caring for the characters, that says something, and I thought that the film was effective, so I'm gonna give it three out of five stars. I'm also gonna give it a three out of five. You know, we should see more horror films. Never again. Actually, no. Twilight, Breaking Down Part Two, that's coming out. That'll be the new horror film. <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs>